my cats claimed my top as theirs. <laughs> so this is one of the mankind's best invention. This is unclaimer. <laughs> Hello and welcome! My name is Eva and in today's video let's continue our adventure with the newest glam shop collection Pokusa Seduction. So again the star of today's video will be probably the palette Pokusa Seduction, but I still want to use again this nice highlighter and one of the lip glosses maybe this one i am not sure yet if you haven't seen my first and also my last video with this collection i leave a link here so close-ups swatches everything you can find there and also if you want to see all lip glosses or more like not all lip glosses but only those lip glosses with particles so three lip glosses swatched on my lips then i also have very short video with lip swatches also i'm going to leave this video here in the last video with this palette i tested almost all shades and only two shades remained these two so two green shades but they have different finish and also different base and i asked you on my instagram stories how do you want to see these two shades in one makeup or maybe in two makeups which mean one eye one eyeshadow you choose the second option great choice by the way i really wish to apply one eyeshadow on my one eye and the other one on my other eye so that's a great choice by the way if you don't follow me on instagram then all links of course are down below in my description box i think if you like to watch stories on instagram and just be on instagram it's easier to be always up to date and not miss any of my a new video so fully recommend <laughs> i hope i see you there so that's the plan for today's video i'm going to apply my p louise base zoom you in and we can start so let's start i'm taking shade jasne just to set my under brow area i'm going to use maybe these two shades together i'm going to mix them and let's see what will happen so this will be something between warm tone brown or even like mustard brown and pinkish simple tapping moves oh by the way just in case if you want to know more how to blend eyeshadows all my blending techniques i also leave this video right here but don't worry i try to at least a little bit explain my blending techniques from my videos but if you want just more details and better explanation then I highly suggest you to watch that video so right now I'm using just tapping and tapping and scratching moves just to spread this eyeshadow around from my outer corner above my crease almost to my inner corner and almost reaching my brow and the same on my lower eyelid but I'm applying this shade on almost whole my lower eyelid. I leave only my inner corner. Now I'm going to blend the edges. Using my sandwich techniques, I'm going to layer some eyeshadows. First, I'm going back to my matte beige and I just blend edges close to my brow with little, little circles. Fast one though, but little circles. And now I'm going back to brush I used for these shades, but I'm not adding more, I'm using only what's left on the brush and with gentle tapping I add another, let's say, layer of eyeshadow. And again I'm going back to brush I used for matte beige and I blend this place again. And I'm going to do it until I be satisfied with the blending and with this let's say the degree of color interpenetration just back to this dirty brush gentle tapping and again back to beige or just brush that i used for beige i'm just building this gentle cloud of color and now i'm taking the darkest matte shade so this one appetitione blending brush but with sharp tip and i'm going to blend and build up this darkness let's say in my outer corner 
just imagine letter C. You start with your lash line outer corner and with gentle little circles, but circles that are coming from the outer part to the inner part, so this way, not this way. So on the other eye it will be this way, not this way. So towards inner corner always. This kind of circle from your lash line to your crease, so this area right here, and then with your crease to the middle, so like this. Like imagine you draw letter C. And of course, then you can always this place here fill with this dark eyeshadow, just like this. But this is basically how to, in a very easy way, build your outer corner dark moment, let's say. And a little bit in my outer corner, lower eyelid. And it's done, gorgeously blended. I don't care about this edge right here, I'm going to clean it up before I do my face. That's why also I'm doing my eyes before my face, because I can just correct any mistakes and just don't pay attention to this edge of my eye makeup. Now I'm going to apply main shimmer and then I'll see what I can add more. So first on my right eye I want to apply maybe this shade, this is shade Chieka, and this is a little chunky shade but I think I can deal with it because these chunky shades aren't so hard to apply with brush like those chunky shades in Tropical palette, but still I need a little bit more effort because as you can tell I don't apply a lot with my brush, but still application with brush is possible, so I'm not complaining. I will help myself with my finger just to make things quicker. Well, in my opinion, maybe it's not so obvious and so visible, but this is duochrome. It shifts between pink, like nude pink, not super vibrant pink, but between pink and green. I will try to show you it on more proper footages. I hope I will be able if not, I hope I'll be able to catch this shift, at least on photos. <laughs> and of course I'm going back to dark brown shade to cover edge in my outer corner. This is really pretty shade. So, on my left eye I'm going to use other green shade, which is Zakazany Owoc. So, Forbidden Fruit. And this is also very interesting green because it has more burgundy on a pinkish base and it's not purely green. Under some angles it looks almost like blue shade. So this shade is more like a duochrome, but this shade is more like multichrome. Here I have shift between green and pink and this pink is like nude pink, very gentle pink also. But here, I think, I think this is almost like multichrome, because I can see how here the eyeshadow is green, then it's blue, and here is like burgundy pink. I hope the camera will be able to show you that. If not, I'm going to do what I can to exactly show you the difference between these two shimmers, but also this shift. So because I can see some pink shift in both eyeshadows, I'm going to add a little bit of this shade somewhere here just to make this makeup a little bit very gently more colorful. This area is a great place to smuggle some color, especially yellows, peachy shades, oranges, but pinks too. This area, so like this triangle between your inner corner, beginning of your brow and let's say the beginning of the arch, and of course above your crease. 
And to add even more of this pinkish accents, I'm going to take another shimmer, this one, this is trzeci wymiar, and I'm going to apply it on my lower eyelid. Now I'm going to clean this mess and apply just highlighter in my inner corner. Now highlighter, oops, this is spoiler, <laughs> now highlighter. You haven't seen anything. <laughs> no, don't worry, I don't have this cream contouring right now on my cheeks. Because not only this cream bronzer is in the repertoire of uh, my next video, <laughs> but this highlighter is really, really pretty nice. Although, as I mentioned before, it's a little bit like cream, at least in consistency, because it doesn't look like powder at all but you can apply it with brush so it's okay it isn't very very blinding at least in my opinion as daily highlighter it's very very pretty it's blinding when you want it to be blinding so if you want to build it up then yeah i have recently extraordinary amount of dry flaky skin on my face, no idea from where. They are not visible until I apply makeup. <laughs> so I haven't noticed them before. Let's apply lipstick. Just something nude and neutral. And now the lip gloss. Of course, I'm going to use brush because if I would just use lip gloss directly from the packaging using dedicated wand, then lip gloss will for sure dissolve my lipstick. And this way I would transfer some of my lipstick into the lip gloss packaging. I don't want to do it, so I'm going to use just brush. And last time I was using subtle pink. Like Kirush, this um, shade would be great for today's makeup with all those pink accents, but I think I'm going to use Brzosk Winiowiec, so peachy. And first I'll just apply it from the wand to my brush and then on my lips. So which shimmer do you like more? This one, Chciejka, so more flaky, chunky one, or this one, Zakazany Owoc? I probably can't choose, both are pretty, pretty, <laughs> and also very unique. So this collection is tested fully. You know probably my opinion, I haven't changed my mind since the last video. So yeah, totally I can recommend you stuff from this collection. The palette is beautiful, absolutely. What's the best, in my opinion, in this palette is that these mattes are less powdery than in other Glam Shop palettes. 
it's the same formula like this is the same pigmentation the same ability to blend and to build up the color but it's less powdery and I very very much like it it's like you know it doesn't bother me when um, some eyeshadows are more powdery there is a lot of uh, fallout in the palette but still it's uh, nice to know that these eyeshadows aren't so powdery well the only detail maybe is that all this palette is pretty new I already have some uh, oily stains in the palette however Glam Shop um, has this disclaimer even on the back on the palette our palettes are made of paper with shiny shadows there may be stains on the palette resulting from characteristic of the shadows you know this is just one little aesthetic detail other than that this palette is pretty great and I am very happy that these three shades that are Mm, the most chunkiest shades in this palette they are still not the same formula as in tropical palette so as I already showed you a little spoiler in my next video I'm going to deal with cream bronzers I bought two shades and I'm going to see well what are they and how to work with them but also I couldn't stop myself <laughs> I couldn't resist and I bought some more multichromes <laughs> but because multichromes are shimmers then um, I think in the next video I'm going to play with some mattes from this palette and new multichromes or at least new for me so that will be it for today's video thank you so much for watching I really hope that I catched those shifts on the camera I, I really really hope so so thank you so much for being here for watching and as always I love you very very much and I see you soon bye